is waking up from day three. Good luck. So where I'm going? We're going to Yosemite. So if you ever decide to come to Goat Meadow, this is a free dispersed camping spot in Yosem near Yosemite. It's really nice here. But there's like a road up, like half a mile or quarter mile, and then this is it. I'm gonna try to find the spot. Yeah, I think I might post camp right here. The tent is now up. Kind of like the Blair Witch Project. I think that's a day for me. Dude, there's like no f like of this insulation where my legs are. So it's like my legs are really cold. How I slept was I had to like seriously go into like a baby's position. It's all good though. I'm gonna make coffee and make breakfast. Oh, what time is it? 643. So, this is what camp looks like. This is the trek to the car. I like purposely like chose a spot that was like far away so I could be by myself. This is what I use for my axe, and it works as a shovel. <clears throat> and I'm probably gonna set up a campfire right here. Nothing above. And then I think the rule is 15 feet. Either way.
that is the last of my Dollar General coffee. Remember, always throw away your trash. And I always try to elevate it. Hanging on a little hook. Back to my coffee. My ADHD. I've, I read somewhere before that like if you have ADHD that like nature and you know listening to like white noise really helps like calm your, your mood. You know people with ADHD, including myself, there's times where like when you don't really have to do nothing but you're just like in a frantic mode because you're not doing anything. So you're like, I have to do something. Nature really helps with that because sometimes you just need to like just chill. But if you have ADHD, you feel like something's wrong if you're not doing anything. And there's always something to do in nature. But there's always something like cool to look at. Yosemite has a lot of black bears, right? Or that's what it's known for. But I'll be honest, people used to warn people about bears when I was a kid, right? I remember when I would come to like Sequoia or like Yosemite when I was a child with like family vacations and stuff. There would be a lot of black bear warnings and like don't eat sweets or don't have any like snacks out. But now it's like through through evolution and like adaptation bears stay away from people now they have learned that like if they go near people they die that's like one of the reasons i don't really worry about bears anywhere wherever i go camping even though bears are present it's just the bears that were curious all died because there was a period of time where we're like rangers were just like shooting bears like you would see it on the news like left and right bear and neighborhood blah 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 you don't really see that stuff anymore bears were tired of dying <laughs> And that doesn't mean like throw your sweets everywhere around your camp place. That's not it. I'm just saying the caution for bears is not as high. Just So Dude. people who are like, oh my God, we got to be worried about bears. Absolutely. Always be cautious. But to be like constantly worried and like your whole trip is based on like, oh, like protecting yourself from a bear. That's what I'm trying to like disprove. Thank goodness. Nice to just be peaceful and calm. Cheers. Yeah. All my spices and like oil, I like to keep it in just like one bag. Just convenient. So anytime you're like about to cook, or you just have to grab a bag and all your spices are there. Instead of having it like in a box with all your other stuff. I know those are like simple tips, but it actually goes a long way. This morning, I'm just gonna have potatoes and garlic. Half a potato. So I don't really like potato, but if you cut it into like small pieces, then it's enjoyable. I don't know. Very picky. I don't like using too much salt in my cooking, ever. And some pepper. 
and then Oh, that smells so good. Morning duties are done. As I was taking a little break, like walking, so I get some blood flow because I've been sitting down thinking about the editing for like an hour now. Look. This is like when like I just, I don't know, everything goes away and I just feel happy. This is, for right now, is my office. And, yeah. Why wouldn't I try to make this a reality? And I want this for you too. Seriously, so nice. This is what I mean by always being cautious. Even though I'm not scared that bears aren't like gonna come attack me, but it's like if you have like pieces of food to like make sure to get rid of it. Going to my car to go charge my MacBook. Try to edit at least one video by today. Just connect the plugs and turn it on. And then it charges the laptop. That was like the important reason why I bought it. And then don't close the hood all the way. It's like latch. Oh, tonight will be my last day. I really need to get a portable power bank with a solar panel. But it's, it was hard for me to 
buy that because it's like how much electricity do I really need? I just need electricity for my MacBook and like that's pretty much it. But my GoPro batteries, but my portable battery just does fine. But you know, Jackery, like $800, Jackery is the best. So this Apo King portable power bank with solar panels, it's like $140. But it's like, if it doesn't work, then that's just like $140 wasted. I should have just got the Jackery. So yeah, thoughts and thoughts. Tonight's my last night. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. This is waking up from day three. What time is it? 5.40. Cold, so because of my last day, I'm gonna go start a campfire. The last one. It was so cold in the morning. I already started my campfire, and I wanted to show you how to start a campfire without like blaming it again. But it was too early in the morning. It was too dark, so I'm just gonna make some coffee. probably gonna head out of here in a couple hours but if anyone wanted to like know how it is to like camp in like the sequoias or someplace with a lot of trees just know that the mornings are really cold because everything is kind of humid and wet so just pack accordingly because the mornings are cold and the nights are cold too um other than that it'd be nice if there was like a water source like a river but you know that's not always available but overall it is quiet out here. It's really nice. If you really want to just like relax your mind and try to get away from everybody, I would definitely recommend Goat's Meadow near Yosemite. Yeah, there's a bunch of spots like you could find in like isolated places. So the cool part about Goat Meadow is it's dispersed camping. If you feel like, oh, this is a spot I want to camp, you could just post up and, you know, set up. let it die out spread the coals and then with the extra dirt you just put it on top
covered. Grab my trash bag. Go to next campers. Check my area. Everything's clean. No litter. No trash. All right, goat meadow. Okay, on my way back. This was the walk back. It's kind of a mission every time I have to go to my car, but I like being alone, so it was worth the trip. So I don't know if anyone else does this, but you see that yellow top container? That's my outside container and everything in there could like stay in like hot hand, like hot heat. Every time I go camping, I don't have to like change or like organize that. It's just ready to go and I have all my supplies. And then the dishes that I use in that container, I'll just take out and separate. So when I go home, I'll be able to like move stuff easier. I don't, I'm not like debating on, do I need to take this inside or this outside? This is one easy process. Just a tip. Because I go on these camping trips so often, the truck on my bed always looks like this. And if anyone was to steal anything, it's really not worth that much. Because everything I bought was from a thrift shop. <laughs> I just walked into my car and it smells like a campfire. Oh, so nice. I love it. Three days. This is one person. When you come out here, even though you want to do a bunch of things, like try to like minimize waste because you want to see this every day. So I'm leaving Goat Meadow and I check my thermometer and it's 50 degrees right now. So that means like in the nighttime it gets to around like what 42? Because it wasn't freezing. So yeah. If you're ever camping in Goat Meadows right now, like be sure to like carry a, like a jacket.